Howdy ho there, friends and neighbors, jiggly tears. Riders on the backs of purple Tyrannosaurus is wearing purple yarmulkes or whatever. This place is just beautiful. Fall's my favorite time of the year. I don't know if you guys have figured that out yet. Um, last time I was out fishing, I didn't catch anything because we had a cold snap the night before and I was literally fishing in like 39, 40 degree weather. It's damn near 80 today. Well, it isn't now because the sun's going down. So I'm thinking that we're going to do some good. I got my favorite fishing buddy with me. Like all the fall leaves. Water looks good. I think we might actually stand a chance today. Um, so I'm going to get uh, suited up and we're going to get started. Went with uh, a lizard because uh, this year, between me and her, that was a big something right there. Me and her have caught dozens on lizard. Okay. Earlier this this year, I found this rod and reel in the trash. I took it home, cleaned it up, lubed it up, put a new line on it, and I've taken it out once already this year. So this is its second voyage. Its first voyage it didn't catch nothing, so I have high hopes this time. And I think I'm close enough to cast at the spot where I saw activity. So let's see if I don't catch nothing. I'm going to try the uh, the Booyah frog there. Um, there's been two big blow-ups. And the lizard didn't do any good. The sun's, as you can see, down now. Or at least close enough to being down. To where a frog might just be the thing. I've been seeing, you know, a lot of surface action. Yeah, this ought to be good. So I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to fling it out that way, that way, that way. I'm going I'm to throw it all over. We've uh, changed locations on our quest for fish. We didn't get anything back there in the corner with the uh, boat ramp right now. And we've thrown a bunch. But, you know, get another view of this real pretty lake in the fall. I did find a pair of pliers, so, you know, I'm up a pair of pliers today. I'm going to throw this here whopper plopper. I got this thing earlier this year because of all the hype. Everybody's saying, oh, it's the best lure ever made. You're going to catch a shitload of fish. And I've probably used it, I don't know, a couple dozen times. And I've not even gotten a bite. So maybe it's a faller. Maybe I'll get lucky today. So we'll, we'll see. I'm gonna fling a lipless here. Sounds like it's on that hill over there. And I have no idea if, if my phone's picking this up. But there's something over there knocking on a tree. Over there on that ridge. Heard something that sounded like a bear. I'm 
Yeah, I see it. I've got one more I want to try. Okay. And then after that, we can head. We've lost the light anyway. Keep open whatever it is comes where I can see it. Still tapping. My last lure selection is Ye Oldie Ripala. I'm going to use it like a jerk bait. Kind of wish I had my tripod with me so I can just set my camera up and point it over there. So you guys could hear the tapping. We heard a couple groany noises that I thought would be bear. And then now we're hearing this tapping. Bears don't tap as far as I know. Now there is a beaver that lives here. And I've never heard of a beaver tapping. I don't know. You guys let me know. It never makes the moaning sound when I have the camera off. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, we're done. Oh, well, no fish. We got a critter over there in the woods making noises at me. But I found a pair of pliers. The tapping's even stopped. I just know the second I turn my phone off, it's going to start making noise again. Oh well. I can't think of a prettier place I'd rather be not catching fish than here. Better luck next time, my foes.